Hello bakers and welcome back to Bradley's Baking Bible. Now on Friday the 17th of March is St. Patrick's Day, so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to bring you a brand new dessert infused with some incredible Irish flavours. It packs a bit of a punch, but I really think you'll enjoy this chocolate Guinness and Bailey's Moose Cake. Say happy St. Patrick's Day with this rich, fudgy chocolate and Guinness cake topped with a light and fluffy Bailey's Moose. For the cake base, you'll need to cream together 60 grams of unsalted butter with 150 grams of golden caster sugar until light and fluffy. Add in one egg yolk and beat until smooth. Next, you'll want to pour in your dry ingredients. 100 grams of plain flour, 30 grams of cocoa, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of mixed spice before giving another mix. Pour in 40 millilitres of milk 80 millilitres of Guinness and then mix well until combined. In a separate bowl, whisk one egg white to stiff peaks and then fold into your cake mix. Transfer the batter into a lined and greased cake tin, level off and then bake in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. Once a skewer comes out clean, set aside to cool. For the mousse, you'll want to soak four gelatin leaves in some cold water and set aside to blue. Next, you'll need to whisk four egg yolks, one whole egg and 140 grams of golden caster sugar in a bowl over simmering water for about five minutes. This will pasteurize your eggs, so keep on whisking until it's thick, pale and it's doubled in volume. Squeeze the excess water from your gelatin leaves and then add into your base, whisking until dissolved. Pour in 150 millilitres of Bailey's Irish liqueur and then set aside to cool. In a separate bowl, whisk together 500 millilitres of whipping cream with one teaspoon of vanilla until it forms stiff peaks. Once your Bailey's base is completely cool and thickened slightly, add half of your cream into a bowl and stir in the Bailey's mixture. Add in the remaining cream and then whisk until smooth. Line a clean baking tin with parchment or acetate and then place your chocolate Guinness cake into the bottom. Pour your mousse over the top and then level off before chilling in the fridge for at least six hours. Once set, remove from your tin, peel off the parchment and then finish with a dusting of cocoa. And you're done. Your chocolate Guinness and Bailey's mousse cake is ready for you to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in style. So there you go, an incredibly tasty Irish inspired dessert that is bound to impress your guests. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you subscribe and then I'll see you next week for another video.